Information has come forward, a report showing that the Israeli IDF tortures Palestinian children. Now, British lawyers have lodged a complaint with uh, the UN about Israel, and it's, they say, allegedly uh, torturing children. And the report shows uh, several pictures of children that are shackled and in custody. This is a violation of the law. Uh, a lot of them have been, uh, the reports of them being uh, blindfolded with their wrists bound and transported to interrogation centers uh, face down on the floor of military vehicles. I mean, these are children who don't actually pose a threat. And this clearly demonstrates the inhuman nature by which Israelis actually see Palestinians and by which how they actually treat them. Now, all of this is considered to be a breach of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Children, and it does constitute torture as well. Now, this report was funded by the UK Foreign Office, and it claims Palestinian youths are routinely abused by Israeli authorities. Now, the legality of it is even worse. The majority are verbally and physically abused without being informed of their right to see a lawyer or their right to silence. They are sometimes held in solitary confinement and made to sign statements they can't read because they are written in Hebrew. If children are held for long periods in solitary confinement, it is regarded as tortured by the UN and is in breach of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. In the past, such allegations have come up before, and Israel has always found a way to weasel its way out to try to deny these things happening, sweep them under the rug, or to try to minimize the torture of children in some way. However, the lawyer behind it, Greg Davies, a children's rights uh, barrister, said the weight of the evidence in favor of these allegations is considerable, and complaints have been lodged at the UN. Every year, Palestinian children are traumatized, sometimes irreversibly. Because the Israelis don't care about the people they're hurting. I mean, children. Children of all, they don't care about. Because they have always viewed Palestinians as less than human. It is a Zionist state. Zionism declares straight out that non-Israelis, non-the chosen people of God, are not human. And in some cases, subhuman. They're not to be regarded as the same thing as a human being. So we should not be surprised that a Zionist state would operate in such a way, with such blatant, disregards for, blatant disregard for human rights, and of all, the rights of children. Now, this time, it's been put forward even more clearly by this uh, statement. The... Um, an Israeli military prosecutor to told a team of lawyers every Palestinian child is a potential terrorist. Now think about the seriousness of such an accusation. Every child is a potential terrorist. That's a serious, serious accusation. It is ludicrous. Children are to be feared. Children are to be portrayed as terrorists that are coming to kill you. I could not think of, of much anything else that could be more dehumanizing than to constantly paint children as terrorists that are coming to get you. I, I really hope that this report, and hopefully some kind of prosecution, but these things just don't happen. I'm sure there's the odd case of somebody being uh, prosecuted for having tortured children. But I hope this does give a serious indication to the world and particularly those of us in the Western media who are fed this one-sided one biased garbage that the Israelis are the victims in this situation, while the Palestinians live under the jackboot of the Zionist government.